A massive circular disc suddenly punches through the mountainside, like a giant warrior's shield ripping out of the earth. But this isn't a weapon, it's one of the most powerful construction machines on the planet. This is the Tunnel Boring Machine, or TBM. It doesn't just dig tunnels, it creates underground highways, train systems, and mega-utility routes through solid rock, clay, and concrete. It moves with surgical precision, following planned routes through cities and mountains with the power of a mechanical beast. At the front, a giant rotating cutter head tears through the earth with crushing tools designed for any terrain. Rock, pulverized, clay, sliced, everything in its path is shredded and moved out by conveyor systems. But it doesn't stop at digging. Every few meters, it pauses, not to rest, but to build. Massive precast concrete rings are slotted into place, locking together to form the tunnel wall. Then, liquid concrete is injected to seal the gaps, creating a reinforced tube strong enough to last decades. This is the magic of TBMs, they dig and build at the same time. But here's what most people don't know, once the tunnel is finished, the TBM usually stays behind. That's right, these multi-million dollar machines are so massive and deep underground that removing them would cost more than leaving them buried. So engineers carve out an extra chamber, remove the parts that can be salvaged, and leave the rest of the machine entombed in concrete, abandoned underground forever. While the tunnel lives on, used by trains, cars, or water, the machine that gave it life is sealed off lost beneath the earth like a forgotten fossil of modern engineering. Somewhere beneath your feet, in cities around the world, buried giants like these still sleep, never to move again. And that's the untold story of how the world's biggest machines build and then disappear.